Hey guys, what's up? And yes, I'm in a onesie outfit right now. And before I get into this video, some of you may have been wondering why I created the second channel. Well, I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do more vlogs. And I saw the direction of where my main channel was going, and I'm like, well, I don't want to make people mad. Or like, people are going to be like, oh wait, I'm here to see roller coasters, not vlogs or anything like that. And I still wanted to do that. So that's why I created this channel, so I can have a wide range more of stuff that I like to do besides roller coasters and theme parks, amusement parks in that area. And I still might do theme park vlogs or something on this channel. Basically if it was like my day at Six Flags or something and I show you what I do throughout the day. But on my main channel I would still be posting coaster videos and do tours of the areas like I did with Springfield where I kind of did a vlog for that which was okay because it was related to that channel and all you guys that wanted to see more vlogs well here you go I'm gonna be starting to post more stuff on here so let's get started with this video I am leaving Best Buy here I'm going to go check out this company called Vertigo I don't know if you guys have heard of this company they're basically a pogo stick brand they're not spring they're air and you know the more you pump in you can um, jump higher you're supposed to be able to jump 10 plus feet I don't know if you guys have seen the videos that's specifically with the v4 model they are located in mission viejo and they have their warehouse down there so i'm gonna go and do like a tour video and test out these bad boys i don't know how hard it is to do the 10 plus feet but on their site it says that there is no maximum weight limit it's basically if you can handle it it's like but then it also says whether you're 80 pounds or 400 pounds you can jump the same height so if you don't want to jump as high you would decrease the amount of air in it like with a pump if you want to go higher, then you would increase it a lot higher, and you can also deflate it and everything like that to make it easy storage in your car. But yeah, check out their videos. They're doing flips and things like that. I thought this was a really cool product. It's called Vertigo, V-U-R-T-E-G-O. They don't actually have like a storefront you can order online, but I, like I said, I'm going down to Mission Viejo and checking out their warehouse. I've got my GoPro. I'm gonna be doing point of views and everything like that. It's gonna be awesome. So let's go and get started. Oh, okay, cool. All the parts nice. are made. Those are a lot thicker than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of the, I don't know if you remember the Razor Ergos, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't stay yeah. with, with air in it or anything yeah. like that. It would leak or something. I don't yeah. know. It wasn't very good. Yeah, they weren't quite as good as we would like them to be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you want to give one a try. Aluminum? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I guess it would have to be to hold that kind of pressure. Oh, plastic can hold it too. Really? Uh, yeah, we just don't know how to put the top together yet. I was looking, I think it said on online, it's like it can do 2,000 PSI. Yeah, yeah. before this all burst. About 2,000 PSI. So we but you don't even nearly get that much when you jump and everything. And kept it going until they popped. So yeah, they have a nice weld on top of them. If we did plastic, what we did before was we bolted them together and the bolt holes ended up fracturing and the cracks got down here past where the o-ring seal was and then they just leaked all the air out. Oh wow. Yeah. So when you collapse it, is, you're just basically letting the air out there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then are the foot pedals, are they metal? Or aluminum. Okay. And the shaft inside of it, stainless steel. You make them different lengths, right? Yeah. So that's small, medium, large. And then the white ones are our standard. And these green ones are the more the pro model. Oh wow. They have a long shaft and a special bushing. Hmm. That's for the higher bounce. That's for the eight foot bounce. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Your good yeah. yeah. So, take this thing for a ride. Okay. Oh, 
and like your videos and stuff, who do you have that does all these, the, the stunts and things like that? Yeah, who do we have that does that? Yeah, or I mean, I guess you have multiple people? Uh-huh, yeah, we had two of them here today. Oh, okay, cool. Um, that's where we were down with the high school bouncing around. So yeah, the more air you put into it, the higher you'll go. So what do you what do you use to lubricate the lubricate it? This one has synthetic oil in it. Oh okay. How often do you have to lubricate it? Depends how much I'm bouncing. Really, I haven't been able to bounce much. Maybe once a week. Oh okay. I've been lubricating it. I haven't lubricated it probably three months. Although I should have. Is it bad if you don't? It's not bad, but it's going to slow down. Oh okay. Enough lubricant will leak out, or the lubricant will mix with the dirt that gets sucked into here. It'll turn mm -hmm. into like a grease. It was getting a real slow bounce. Huh. Yeah, it's a lot better when it's freshly maintained. We recommend like adding a little once every week or two and then doing a full on oil change like every month or two. Okay. And then like the bar, these were like, I think like aluminum or something mm -hmm. for safety. Yeah, they're soft. Like if... So do you ever have any issues where they start to bend or anything? Yeah, they bend all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you buy replacement? Yeah, um, it's just, you know, it's just a straight aluminum bar. You just take these bolts out. Pop the old bar off, put the new bar on. You can order that on the site. Yeah, we oh, okay. for three packs for 15 bucks, which is okay. basically cost. We don't try to make money on them. Uh, we just would rather people be safe. Yeah, so. I mean, I'm sure there's people that probably put steel in there or something themselves, yeah. right? But try you, to, you don't recommend try that. People, yeah, because a lot of people like to do the trick where they're taking their feet off, and if you miss the pegs, your face is going to hit the top of this if you're over the pose. Oh, okay, that makes so sense. If you hit this, you're okay. If you hit these and they don't bend. That's why we make them out of it. Oh, that makes sense. We really urge people to, to keep these, but yeah, some of the guys are going to steal them there. That's cheating if you join the Olympics. Isn't that different? Oh, in closer. Huh. Sometimes, I guess you gotta get the hang of it more, like, you'll start, it bounces away from you sometimes. impact on this. How is this for her bad knees? Two more, two more. Quite a workout. Yeah, I can feel it in my arms too. Yeah, this one feels 
a little more of an impact, I think. Maybe it's just because of less pressure, is that what it is? Yeah, it's a different compression ratio with the air. So, it probably needs to be a stiffer bounce. A stiffer bounce? Hmm. This one's a lot smoother. Um, it's not a whole lot different. It's 10% more air, but it makes a massive difference in how you feel. Especially the higher yeah. you go, the more you feel it too. make them in the two colors then? Or? Yeah. Okay. Every once in a while we do a limited edition color run. We're going to do another one in probably two months and we play around with different colors. They're going to be pink and purple next time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a way to have fun and try to new things out. And Our two favorite colors. colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you know, right now we don't have anything else so that would be in the white. And then we've got the silver pink B3, obviously. Oh, yeah. We try to Didn't do one have, like, crazy color or one safe color. So yeah. this is the, the crazy color okay. that the kids love these days. Was the did you have like a yellow one or something before? We had an orange one. An like orange one, okay. Right before Christmas. That one sold really quickly. People liked it, so that would be a good candidate for our next model probably. When you do um, like the limited editions are they the same price? Yeah. Oh okay. Um, these next ones maybe more, but not a whole lot. We had to buy the paint in bulk this time. Oh, so okay. Usually they have stuff stocked, and this time they didn't have pink and purple, so we had to buy our own pink and purple. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be a whole lot more. They put a glitter effect on top of it, so if you take it in the sunlight, it shines. So oh, well, that would be cool. It looks really, like the orange one looks really good in the sunlight. That's great. Yeah, if you want to see what goes on inside of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, essentially this is the, you know, the guts and the bottom assembly of what it would look like inside of there. So if you unscrew these like, eight holes, this whole thing just pulls out and this is what you end up with. Oh, okay. So. Is there like any rubber rings or anything in this yeah. too? Yeah, we've got this. this rubber ring here. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. But I mean, there's nothing for, as far as the screws are, this is sufficient enough to keep the air in? Yeah. Oh, oh well, okay. the air is trapped up from here up. Oh, okay. So the, this is essentially the V3, the piston starts right here, and then the air is stored above the piston because you need to have this much space between the bushing down here and the piston so that it can't turn sideways and kind of get, ooh, get stuck. <laughs> and it won't, it won't bind up. So what we did is we essentially took the V3 and we combined these two parts on them. So this part and the piston are now this one part. And the, even though the, the uh, seal is here, the air stores down below it. So like, that's the extra air storage that we were able to add. And that's what made the, all the difference in the field of balance. It's as simple as that, you know, it's difficult to think of, but after you think of it, you're like, huh, why didn't we just do that in the first place? <laughs> yeah, it seems so easy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you could see the difference between bouncing on the three and the four, that you guys did that that the four is definitely a lot smoother ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's much smoother. Yeah. It's a nice day difference. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm sold. <laughs> and yeah, all parts are replaceable. Uh, everything just screws together or oh, snaps okay. together. So like this bushing, after enough bounces, the plastic wears out, the, the shaft gets kind of wobbly in there. I mean, it, a lot of bounces. We're talking like a year or two. Oh, okay. But when that happens, you just basically just pop the bushing out, and you just take a new one, you just snap it in. Mm -hmm. And then all your parts that you get are from the USA too, or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The tooling itself, we had made in China because we just can't afford to make the, tool the tooling here. Oh yeah. So we sure. make it there and then we have it shipped over here and then we have all our suppliers there. Everyone is local except the company that does the stainless steel that comes from North Carolina. So huh. yeah, everything else is Orange County or LA purchase. Which makes it easy when we yeah, have parts, sure. parts that you know come off the line and there's issues. You just drive right up the Are your uh, are your re uh, uh, replacement parts are they reasonably priced or are they? Yeah. Uh, They're actually cheaper. If you were to, we don't sell everything on the website. Right. Um, like we don't we leave the piston off the website. But if you were to go buy everything and add them up, they'd be cheaper than the pogo stick. So we try to make it 
as reasonable as possible. We don't yeah. try to make money okay. off of replacement yeah. parts and stuff like that. We just try to make. Well, it I would expect easy. you to make uh, somewhat of a little profit on make a little bit, parts, but, it's, but you know, there's not going to be any viable business there yeah. or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're not gouging them anymore. Yeah. So if you have any issues yeah. during the like your warranty, are like all the parts covered or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. Yeah, except for the handlebars. Oh, okay. And the bottom tip. That's everything else is covered. How? Well, that's that's normal wear and tear of the exactly. bars and the tip. How how yeah. with like normal use? How long does the tip usually last before you well, need to replace it? Depends it depends on the kind of surface you're bouncing on too. Yeah, our our professional riders bounce on them pretty much every day because they're doing shows and stuff. Yeah, and it lasts them between six and eight months. So oh wow, normal. okay. It's probably gonna be longer than. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, it right. probably lasts. It probably lasts you a year and a half, two yeah. years. What it, what happens is essentially. The rubber just gets worn down, or the urethane, and it just mm -hmm. gets flat, and it, it squishes down to the point where this bolt inside the middle starts to hit the ground. You'll be bouncing, you'll just kind of hear ching, ching. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's time to replace it. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Yeah, at that point, you know, when it, after you've had it for about a year, it's probably not a bad idea to order a new one anyway, yeah. just to have on hand. Yeah. So, do you plan on anything new this year, or anything like that? We're thinking about it. Oh, okay. So we're testing. They can't out. tell you that's trade secrets. <laughs> we just got a patent, so we can talk about it. We're lucky with that. But basically, the new one, if we do it, and we're hoping to, just depends if we can get the manufacturing cost down enough. Mm -hmm. There's a. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is essentially the new one. There's a hole in the bottom of the piston, and it's oh, okay. attached to the shaft. And then the shaft is sealed on the bottom. There's a plug. This plug only goes up to here, probably, but the plug itself comes up to, or the hole comes to here, but the plug is sealed. So oh, all okay. of this is air storage too. But, oh wow! Wow. Um, Will that uh, make it for a uh, higher bounce then too, a little bit? Or? It's a well, more bounce and more air volume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And a, a bit higher bounce too. Uh, yeah. This one record is 10 feet six inches. They're thinking that they can do probably 11 to 12 feet on the new one. Oh wow! So definitely better what we're trying to do because we just released this one officially in October we don't want to release one every year but we want to get this technology into everybody's hands so we're thinking about just making it an upgrade so it'll essentially be if somebody wants to they would just buy these parts oh and they okay would swap them out in their stick and wow that way if you were to get this and then we come out with a new one it's like it's not like we're replacing that one mm -hmm. it's just you would pay essentially to buy the shaft and put it into the one you already have wow. so mm -hmm. wouldn't be kind of hurting people that Purchase sure, purchased it for what, hundred dollars, right? Yeah. Got the right price for the. So you have this like s like square, like what? It wasn't. Would it not be as good to have this square also, or or is it better round? Uh, it would be. It's better round because the O ring needs. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Digital. Yeah, yeah. Like we're trying to play around with a new design, mm -hmm. so that no, um, you don't have to have these holes, and no dirt can get inside of it. That way, you never have to do maintenance on it. Oh, wow, we, okay. If we do that, we, we can't use a square because we need to be able to seal the shaft. Yeah. It's like a major issue that we come up against and trying to like figure out an oval tube or something like that. So, hmm. yeah. Well, you start with square stock and you just pull a whole piece in it. Yeah. Get you your round. Yeah. Besides, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing to have the round one than the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> But that's just me. Yeah. I'm just a layman. What do I know? <laughs> oh, it's nice. We eventually want to get to like a hex or an octagon. You know, that way I'll be a little stronger too. But yeah. It just requires new tooling and stuff, and it's crazy how expensive it is. Like bringing this out, we updated probably about 50% of the parts completely updated, and it was almost $100,000. Wow. Just modifying some of the tooling, not even making new tooling. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, yeah. Ouch. <laughs> So you say about two months you'll have uh, the pink and purple ones coming out? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We already put the order in, and it's usually six weeks plus. And that's going to be on the website? Yeah. That's where it's okay. We're shooting for April. Yeah, it shouldn't okay. be any problem. So. Do you ever do other colors as far as the bottom hair or anything? Yeah, we would like to, but it requires when they mix it, mm -hmm. they buy that stuff, and it can be it comes in a natural color, and they actually add black pellets to turn it black. Oh, okay. We can do it in any other color that we want. Basically, we give them a Pantone color and they match it. Um, hmm. but doing that, you have to you have to order a 200 pound bag of those little pellets and it's so costly that it would take us a few years to make back that. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, and you'd have thousands of them little caps in that yeah, one yeah. color, so, yeah. you know. 
unless you want to pay for that <laughs> pink color. Yeah. Someday, when we get a little bigger, we'll be able to have like every part customized colors and stuff, but for now it's too small to be able to handle the orange one. Yeah, I see that orange one. Yeah, yeah um, it, it may find its way out the back door here. I will not. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> How many can you put together in a day? We put together a hundred in, in one day at one point. Okay. So if we're both here and we're both working hard, we can crank them out. And it's but just you guys them. that kind of put it together? Yeah. Oh, okay. We don't have anybody else. It's just us. Um, we build them, then we have them sit on the racks. So we got a few more racks over there, so we'll essentially just fill up the racks. We let them sit there for 72 hours and we make sure that they hold air pressure before we box them up. That way we don't we save ourselves hassle on sending one out that leaks and stuff like that. So, Good yeah. deal. We can produce two to three hundred a week. Wow. We need to. But we don't need to. <laughs> okay. Not yet, at least. Yeah. Why, why, is, why is this uh, this one marked? Oh, oh it's, it's, it's grease. Yeah, it's the oil. Okay. It's oil. It's just oil. All right. Yeah, the oil, every time you come up, it yep, sucks yep. the air in. Yeah. It comes out these holes okay. here, it comes out the bottom. The red there looked like it was scored. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then guys do stalls and stuff, and they bang up against concrete, and they just take sandpaper and file yeah. and file it down. Do the, the screws, they're just, are they metric or? No, they're uh, Imperial. Yeah. yeah. We're thinking about doing <coughs> some metric ones for ones that we ship out overseas, um, but I don't know if we can get the same thread pattern. We've had difficulty finding that. Oh, okay. It needs that to makes be sense. metric here, but we need the imperial, the 3 sixteenths or 5 sixteenths, uh, 18 threads. Which is yeah, that'd be kind of hard to find. Yeah. Metric head, but standard threads. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Talk about your crossbreed. Does, it come, with, does it come with an insurance policy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have serial numbers or anything on them? Yeah. Eventually, if we get into retail, they require that for big enough shops, but since we sell directly to customers, we don't do that yet. One oh, question, okay. what was the difference in, uh, in cylinder length? Uh, three inches between each size. Okay, so but, got, but the reason being? Just for different size people. It's like, oh, yeah, okay. for how like, tall you are. Small and oh, all right, tall okay. okay. What are the different weights as far as the actual weight of the product, like oh, for the sizes? Uh, it goes 11 pounds, 11 and a half and 12 pounds. The only difference between them is the, the longer aluminum and the longer stainless steel. So you've got two inches down here that's longer and three inches here that's longer. And that equals about a half a pound for each one. Everything mm -hmm. else is exactly the same inside. Kind of what we want to do, get down to a kid's version. Right. But we can't do it yet because these are just, we need to, they need to pump up more than 30 PSI. If you put lower than 30 PSI, they have trouble holding air. There's just not enough, not enough force on the seal. So sure. yeah. little kids need 15 PSI, 20 PSI. Uh, but all neutral length, so we just need we need to get the design down well enough because little kids aren't going to do maintenance on it. So we need to figure out the maintenance-free design, and then we need to make it so it can hold less air and all neutral length. So once we do that, we'll start mm -hmm. looking for investors. Yeah. Yeah, if you want maybe a larger piston, uh, you'd be able to keep the same cylinder. Oh, you mean, oh yeah. You know, yeah. just like you did with the V4 versus the V3 where you created more volume. Yeah. Just now just go the opposite direction. Yeah, take away the volume for take the kids. Take away the volume for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah we make them as bulletproof as we can. <laughs> yeah. It'd be kind of interesting to have someone put as much PSI as they could in like, take a shotgun <laughs> to it or something and see what happens. Uh, oh, well, when we did the <laughs> testing, we got nitrogen tanks and just kept on filling up until they burst and oh, it wow. was like here bomb. I mean, you can just feel it. We're a hundred yards away and you can feel it in your chest. It's just a little shock wave. Wow. It was pretty intense. Just ex we put it inside a trash can because we didn't want any shrapnel flying away and just in case it happened. And oh yeah. The trash can just destroyed. <laughs> hundred pieces. Was, uh, Mythbusters around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah, the plastic ones bursted about seven to eight hundred and these ones held up. It was like 20, 350 or something like that. Where they, they, uh, yeah. Wow. Thank right. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> send me an email, work it out. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, because I, I, you mentioned pink, so that that's my favorite color. So, so yeah, it's going to be pink with a silver glitter on top of it. And it should be, I mean, 
hard to say until you get it, but when we were picking up colors, it looked so nice. Yeah, we just had oh, a yeah. nice watch to look at, so it's hard to tell, but it was beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Well, April, we'll... <laughs> We'll order two. Alright, so there you have it. That was my tour of Vertigo Pogo Sticks. There were some parts that were a little bit eh, but you get the point. It was pretty cool to be able to jump on all those Pogo Sticks. They talked about there's going to be a purple and pink one. I'm definitely getting a pink one. It's supposed to be able to sparkle in the sunlight. And sorry I've taken so long to do this video. I've been really sick, congested. I think I've got a cold or something. I've been having the aches and chills. It hasn't been fun, but I've been still trying to edit this video while I was sick. So props to me on that, and I will definitely have more videos coming out on this channel. But until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs>